21 part a so 4x x minus 4 squared is equals to 8 uh, this is x minus 8 into brackets 2x plus 7 so let's solve this first part of the question so we're going to start with the left hand side that is um, x subtract 4 squared this is the same as x subtract 4 multiply by x subtract 4 and when you expand these this is what you get this is what you get when you expand and um, finally you will get uh, x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 16 so when you simplify these the left hand side therefore will be given by x squared subtract 8x plus 16 then the right hand side of the equation you just expand to this x multiply by 2x plus 7 then subtract 8 these are 2x plus 7 so this gives uh, x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equals to the right hand side you get uh, 2x squared plus 7x subtract 16x minus 56 uh, from there we can simplify the right hand side to give uh, 2x squared 7x minus 16x you get negative 9x subtract 56 so the left hand side will remain the same so from that stage we can take everything that we have on the left hand side and take it to the right hand side everything that we have from the left hand side we take it to the right hand side and this is what you're going to have do that have uh, so the right hand side we have 2x squared minus 9x uh, minus 56 now when we take uh, x squared to the right hand side we get negative x squared when you take negative 8x the right hand side you get positive 8x then positive 16 to the right hand side will give negative 16 then cause after taking everything from the left hand side uh, one side will have zero so this is the equation that you should try to collect the like terms and solve it. Like terms together, 2x squared minus x squared, we give uh, x squared. Then 9, negative 9x plus 8x is going to give um, negative x. Then um, negative 56 subtract 16, get negative 72 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this one is um, a quadratic equation. Uh, to solve this, we're going to look for two numbers whose product will be negative 72, and the sum of those two numbers will be negative 1. These numbers are negative 9 and 8. Now, to factorize this, we shall have x squared, negative, use these two numbers now, negative 9x plus 8x subtract 72 is equals to 0 so this one you get x x minus 9 plus 8 x minus 9 is equals to 0 so this gives uh, x plus 8 x minus 9 is equals to 0 so this solution will be x plus 8 is equals to 0 so here x will be negative 8 the first solution the second solution will be x minus 9 is equals to 0 and this will give x is equals to 9 so those are the two solutions x is equals to negative 8 and x is equals to 9 let's go to the second part of the question a part b of the question John cycled 6 kilometers from his home to school at an average speed of 2x minus 3 kilometers per hour. Peter walked 2.4 kilometers from his home to school at an average speed of x kilometers per hour. Peter took 16 minutes less than John. Determine the time in minutes that John took to reach school. Now when you look at this question, we're given both the distance covered by John and the speed and Peter. 
ball we give him the speed and the distance so that should give us the time so we should start by getting the time taken by john and how do you get time our time is given by distance divided by speed so time for john the distance is six kilometers then uh, the speed is 2x subtract 3 then time taken by peter distance walked by peter is 2.4 kilometers then the speed is x so these two are the expressions of the time taken by uh, john and peter now there's another statement here given that peter took 16 minutes less than john now using these uh, two expressions for time we are supposed now to come up with an equation showing that peter took 16 minutes less than john so meaning john took more time so if we take time taken by john which is um 6 divided by 2x minus 3 then we subtract time taken by peter which is 2.4 divided by x that should give 16 minutes and 16 minutes if we convert this only to hours we give 16 over 60 simplified will be 4 over 15 of an hour so uh, 16 minutes converted to hours will give 4 over 15 of an hour so this is now the expression that is supposed to, the equation they're supposed to solve after forming it and then we get the value of x now we're going to work the left hand side first so let us uh, work out the left hand side and to get the left hand uh, to work out the left hand side we shall start by getting the lcm of x and uh, 2x minus 3 and the lcm is uh, x x uh, this is uh, 2x minus 3 so the left hand side therefore the lcm being this x 2x minus 3 so take the LCM, divide by 2x minus 3, you get x, x multiplied by 6, you get 6x, subtract, take the LCM, divide by x, you get 2x minus 3, take 2.4, then 2x minus 3. This should give 4 divided by 15. Now after getting that, let me simplify, this one should give uh, 6x subtract uh, 2.4 this will give 4.8 x then plus this will give 72 this will be 7.2 everything divided by this will give uh, 2x squared when you open the brackets here subtract 3x should be equal to 4 divided by 15 6x subtract 4.8x will give 1.2x plus 7.2 everything divided by 2x squared minus 3x is equals to 415 um, at that stage now we can cross multiply by taking uh, 15 multiply by 1.2x plus 7.2 is equals to 4 this is uh, 2x squared minus 3x opening the brackets this one will give um, me multiply these in the calculator uh, when you multiply these very first you have uh, 15 multiplied by 1.2 this will give 18 x plus uh, 15 multiplied by 7.2 you get 108 is equals to 8x squared subtract 12x so from um, quadratic equation from these by grouping these terms or arranging them so this would give negative 30x negative 108 is equals to 0 when you organize this to form a quadratic equation these are going to form divide all through by 2 
you get 4x when you divide that by 2 everything by 2 you get uh, subtract 15x uh, subtract 54 is equals to 0 now this is um, now the quadratic equation that you're supposed to solve the easiest way to solve this is by use of the quadratic formula um, knowing that uh, a is equals to 4 uh, b is equals to negative 15 and c is equals to negative 54 so i'm going to use the quadratic formula the quadratic formula is uh, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a so we're going to substitute these values of a b and c to that um, quadratic formula and this is what you should get negative b will be 15 plus or minus then b squared will be 225 that is a negative 15 squared minus 4 multiplied by a is 4 and c is negative 54 like that everything divided by 2 times a so that is what uh, supposed to get so simplify these x should give um, 15 plus or minus uh, when you work out these want to work out everything that is inside the bracket here uh, is 225 subtract um, 4 multiply by 4 times negative 54 you get 1089 everything divided by 8 so these uh, should give um, x is equals to 15 plus or minus uh, the square root of uh, 1089 is 33 divided by 8 so i have to require more space here i have to use this space that is down here so this will give x is equals to either the first value of x we're going to consider the positive divided by 8 and these should give so this is a 15 plus 33 divided by 8 this will give 6 then the second value of x will be x is equals to 15 now you can consider the negative by 8 this will give um, This will give negative 2.25. Now we are going to ignore these since um, look at what x is representing. X is um, representing the speed, and according to this question, uh, this speed can't be negative. So that is uh, the reason why we're going to ignore the negative speed. So we've got um, the speed be x and this is the speed of um, the speed of Peter it was the one that was x Peter so the question was determine in time the minutes that John took to reach home so which is the expression for time taken by John it is 6 divided by 2x minus 3 6 divided by 2x minus 3 so John Time taken by John 6 with 2x minus 3, which will be 6. A uh, substitute uh, x is uh, 6, so this will be 2 multiplied by 6 minus 3. It will be 12 minus 3. This will be 6 divided by 9. And these, um, these will give. Um, Six over nine over an hour 
the same as um, when you simplify these, these would be two thirds of an hour, and this is equivalent to 40 minutes. So that is how you're supposed to solve that question.